In this video, we're going to look at Schoology's annotations assignment. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up and you're going to add materials. You can either use the add materials button or as I like to use the green line and place it where I want it. So you're going to go to add materials and you're going to say add assignment. When this opens, you're going to notice that you have several choices and the one we're going to look at today is the annotations assignment. This is going to give the students the ability to annotate on top of a PDF and each get their own copy. You'll notice that it takes more than just PDFs. You can use JPEGs, you can use docs and other things, but for today's video we're going to just use a PDF. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to go find my PDF folder and I'm just going to grab a PDF. So as you noticed it added the PDF here, it gave the kids their own copy. I'm going to just add some words here. You're going to select a category, and then once you have everything the way you want it, you will then uh, come down and say create. And then you will see the practice assignment here. Let me switch to my student account, and now let's look at what this is going to look like from the student's perspective. And now I'm going to open it up as a student. So here is the view and the student is going to say start the assignment and this is going to open up the PDF inside of the assignment so that the students can see it. So now they can go through. You'll notice up here they have several types of tools here. They have typing tools and they also have drawing tools. From all of these I can look at that. I can do squiggly lines. I can strike through, I can underline, that sort of thing. I can add text boxes and type like that. If I need to move the text box, I can click the little hand and, oops, let me grab it there and move it around where I would like it to be. So there's lots of different things. They also have the ability to highlight, okay? They can freehand draw if they would like as well. And they have the ability to change the um, color of the tools and that sort of thing. There's an eraser as well, undo. The other thing they can do is draw. So I'm gonna click here. They still have the highlighter and the freehand tool, but now I have the ability to make shapes. I can change the color of those shapes, the thickness of the lines. I can do uh, the eraser. I can also do polylines, arrows, uh, straight lines, arrows, that sort of thing. So lots of different things that the students can now do on a PDF through Schoology. After they finish, they're going to come down here to the very bottom. They're going to say submit. Once they submit, it looks like this. Now let's say they need to add something to it. They can hit resubmit the assignment. It will open it back up and they can continue working or add something else to the document if they need to. Oh, down here, look, they can clear all <clears throat> and that sort of thing. All right, I'm going to say submit. And now let me switch back to the teacher view and let's look at what the teacher sees through this. Okay, here's the assignment. I'm going to go in. You will notice that it shows me that someone has submitted and I can click it and open it. I still have the ability to grade it. I can add comments in here if I need to. Uh, and that sort of thing. So now I can see exactly what the student has done. This is a great way for you to get a PDF to your students and allow them to have their own individual copy.